All right, welcome to Dart University Engine Building 101. We're going to talk about loop systems. There's a lot of questions, a lot of myths and mysteries out there. We'll see if we can't straighten some of those up for you. Now, any lubrication system is going to start with a pump. You can use a wet sump or a dry sump. But basically, to get oil everywhere you need, it's going to be a labyrinth of oil drills trying to get to mains, you know, feeding up through your rods, down into your cam bearings, up through your valve crank. So that oil, that oil's got to go everywhere. It's got a lot of restrictions, a lot of turns, a lot of jogs. So what Dart's been able to do over the years is really clean that up a little bit. Now if I flip this block over, it's one of their race series blocks, but all their blocks pretty much have what they call priority main oil feeding. Now the original had three out oil galleries. The center one actually fed through a groove here in the cam bearing down to the mains. Well what they've done is they've flipped it around. They've moved this gallery over to here. Now they can feed right to the mains and then up into the cam because this is really where all the loads are. This is a critical point to make sure you got good lubrication on. So by doing that, you've made the system more efficient. Less turns, you put the oil where it needs to be. Now I can start taking, you know, what we used to do is always put a high volume pump on. We can bring that down. You don't need a high volume pump on their blocks because you're feeding the oil where it needs to go first. Now this is their race block. Most of their race blocks are all set up like this. this SHP is pretty much standard. But this one's nice because you can go that extra step. I can put in restrictions in my valve train, and I can do that by drilling an orifice in this pipe plug. You know, once I got it set to the right size diameter, I can come in here to this main gallery, and I can block off my valve train, give it just the amount of oil that I need, then I can come back in with a standard plug and cap everything off. Now again, what that's going to do is add efficiency. So if I'm going racing, I don't want a lot of oil to be getting pumped up into my rocker covers. As it goes down, I've got oil control problems. I don't have the oil where I need it in the pan. So it adds efficiency, it adds oil control, less aeration, it means I'm going to go out there and I'm going to win races more often, and I'm going to do it with a smaller pump.